I keep seeing this more and more and it's starting to get on my nerves. Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Bash and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, today we're talking all about why people aren't wearing gear when they're going out on motorcycles. Now, I keep seeing videos pop up on TikTok, Instagram, and it's starting to get to me. Videos of people that have come off their bike, gone down the road and continue to ride with no gear. And to me, it's completely crazy that you would even consider that when, unlike a car, you haven't got this massive cage around you to protect you. If you come off the bike, that is you. So today I thought I'd do a little video and at the end of the video, I want to tell you a little bit more about something that is going to change this channel for good. So, gear. Gear is massively important. Right now, I'm wearing full gear and I have literally popped out for a half hour to an hour ride. Might try and squeeze in two. These new tyres are feeling good, man. Anyway head to toe in gear from gloves to the protective trousers and I rode once uh, twice without gear I rode in Cyprus without gear and it was the scariest experience of my entire life and I say that because I genuinely didn't trust anybody else on the road and I don't think you should regardless of where you are now I get it man if you're only in in a city jeans and a jacket yeah kind of kind of gonna work for you because you're gonna be doing 30 mile an hour tops but if you're like me you live in the countryside you gotta wear full gear and the second time that I wore partial gear I didn't wear full gear was when I went to DGR and that was because I tried and tried to get a jacket underneath my shirt but it just was not happening so I ended up just going you know what I'm gonna ride sensibly I'm gonna be extra cautious and I'm just gonna gonna risk it for the biscuit <laughs> and I did feel perfectly safe uh, knowing that we were kind of being blocked by Iceni chapter but it's still not the best piece of advice it's something that I certainly would not do regularly and that's all because I've seen people come off, I've seen how easy it is for somebody not to see you. Me and that 09SP on Instagram, I'll link him down below as well. Uh, we were riding to Great Yarmouth once from Norwich and he was filtering down the outside, traffic was dead stop. And as we came up to a roundabout, a van didn't check and pulled out on him. Luckily he managed to keep the bike up and he was completely unharmed. He was obviously a bit shaken up, but it's that easy. If a car doesn't see you, that's that's you. You're gonna end up getting hurt. And for that reason, I would never really ride without gear unless like, you know, I'm somewhere I don't have gear. For example, when I was in Cyprus, I had gloves and I had a helmet, that was it. And that was sketchy, very sketchy. Plus the kind of riding that I do, majority on road, a little bit off road, like yeah, you are, are exposed compared to cars. So that being said, every single video you see me in this gray poncho, but what you don't see is the gear that's hidden underneath it. And underneath right now, I'm wearing my Knox jacket. It is incredibly comfortable. I barely feel like I'm wearing any gear at all because I literally, have this breathable light mesh on and it feels so so good 100 percent recommend it i'll throw the specs of this jacket up on the screen right now because it's a piece of gear that in the summer i cannot go riding without especially when it gets up into the mid 20s here in the uk this jacket it keeps you nice and cool on those long rides especially when you're sitting in traffic around um around like a city and it also 
it doesn't look half bad either. I just choose to cover it because I think this is kind of like the image that I've gone for as my brand now is the, uh, the brown trousers, the boots and the grey pullover. The other piece of gear that you always see in all of my videos, you probably pick them out in like 90% of the thumbnails, is these, the core, sorry, the coarse wasteland trousers. And for anyone, need, anybody that is wondering, all of the gear that I wear is currently linked in the description of every single video. So if you are struggling to find them, uh, they are down there for you. If I can link them, I will link them. If you can't find a link to it, hit me up in the comment section below and I will find a link and put it in there for you. These coarse trousers are great. The only complaints I have about them is the knee pads are absolutely terrible. <laughs> They're barely any good. But you can get replacement knee pads. You can just put in some like some some less bulky ones. They have just the pockets for them. And I think that would work pretty, pretty well for um, keeping you nice and protected on the road. Plus these look sick. They're just a cool like adventure pan. I, I got a lot of time for it. And the final thing that you always see in all of my videos is the former boots. I wear former mid cut boots, as you can see there. They're sick and they're very comfortable. The only problem I've had with these boots is the fact that they're not waterproof. So you, <laughs> you go out, if you're riding off road or something, you hit a puddle, yeah, don't expect these things to be waterproof. I've been fully waterproofed up and like, yeah, sound have got these nice leather boots on. Yeah, they're not waterproof at all. <laughs> My feet were soaked, man, and that, that's something you don't want to deal with, but I guess you could get some like waterproof socks or something. And these are the Akin Moto Grenadier gloves. They're great. They're about 50 pounds here in the UK and they are insane. They're like nice lightweight gloves, more of a summer glove for sure, because they're thin as anything. They're kind of like motocross gloves, but they do the trick for riding around. I really enjoy them. And honestly, I'd highly recommend them if you're looking for a glove. Now, the thing I see the most is people riding without gloves, which is insane because if you come off the bike, I guarantee the first thing that you're going to put down is your hands to try and stop you from falling. And if you're not wearing gloves, guess what? You've just uh, sandpapered all the skin off your hand. And that is not going to be fun at all. So if this video gets 250 likes within no if this video just gets 250 likes in general i will start giving away every two months a pair of these akin moto grenadier gloves completely free all you have to do to enter will be to go ahead and follow the instagram account and like the photo that is up and it'll have the beginning of the caption will be competition time and just drop a comment, tag a friend who likes bikes, and then, uh, yeah, I'll select one lucky person and we'll, we'll give away a, a pair of these Akin Motor Gloves completely free of charge. And I'll do that every two months so that you guys can start getting gear, especially if you're in, getting into motorcycling, maybe you're already into motorcycling and you just want a, a free set of gloves. Um, this competition is going to be open to anyone within the UK. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to win these gloves, like the video. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like the video if you do, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And, and, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.